What is up guys? We are back with another video and today we're going to be doing a quick follow-up with the Lee Real Wireless microphone after about three months of usage. All right, coming right up. All right guys, so right here in front of me we have the wireless microphone right here. This is the Lee Real Wireless microphone system. Shouts out to them. They actually sent this out to me and if you didn't get an opportunity to check out that video, the original video, um, I will put a card on the screen somewhere for you guys to go back and take a look at that video. Um, this is just going to be a really quick follow-up nothing over the top just a little bit down and dirty really quick just to you know give you guys a follow-up on this device let you know how i've been using it um and is it worth it and answer a few questions that i did get on the original video all right so first things first one of the main questions that i kept getting on that video is how do you sync it with the actual device a lot of people say i didn't show that but i went back through the video and i think i actually did but for those that are wondering i'll put it in this video the only way you sync this up is just by plugging it into the bottom of your iPhone. Once you plug it into the bottom of your iPhone, you can open up any one of your camera apps and the microphone works automatically. There's no Bluetooth syncing or anything like that. All you have to do is plug it into the bottom of your iPhone. Open up your camera app, whatever camera app, whether it's the native camera app, Filmic Pro, Pro Movie, whatever it is, this just plugs into the bottom and it works. So I know a lot of people are asking me that question, um, how do you actually get it synced up with the actual iPhone and it's really just as simple as plugging it in. Um, the quality of this microphone as far as build quality, I'm sorry, is concerned, uh, is very, very plasticky. That's one thing uh, that I would say is, the, is a huge downfall about this is that it feels cheaply made in a sense. It's very plasticky, but the audio quality that you get from it, it does sound good. I highly suggest you guys to go back and take a look at that first uh, video that we did on this microphone so that you can get a real in-depth glimpse of how it sounds uh, with the audio quality coming out of this microphone. But uh, this microphone is just cheaply made. That's one of the biggest things that I didn't like about it is that it was cheaply made. Another thing I don't like about it is the actual uh, clip right here and the way that you clip this on your actual body. It puts the, uh, if you clip it on your shirt like this, it puts the microphone off to the side over here. So you kind of have to slide it over to the right so that you can kind of have it directly angled at your mouth. However, I feel that the microphone should be this way when you're clipping it on, but when you clip it on this way, it has a tendency to droop down in the front of you. And even when you clip it this way, it still droops down in front of you. So I think uh, this clip is just I, just, I just don't like this clip, but I do like the audio quality coming out of it. I don't like the build quality and so forth, but the audio quality is great. One of the other things that uh, I think a lot of people were asking me about is this little headphone here. This is how you monitor the audio. And honestly, you're not gonna be using this to monitor the audio if you or wearing this, you know, except for if the fact that you're like using this for some type of wireless presentation, you may want to, but I will suggest that if you do use this, just use it to, to dial in your actual audio settings and then you can move it out of the way. You don't need to wear this uh, in your ear and monitor the audio. I think that you need to plug it in, listen to the audio, make sure the levels are sounding pretty good, make sure the levels are good in your actual device, your phone, uh, and then, you know, take this out your ear and you'll be good to go. So that's that. As far as charging is concerned, you can use any one of these uh, USB-C uh, type cables to charge it, so it is what it is. Uh, other than that, for the past three months, how have I been using this? I've been using this for top-down shot, like right now I'm using the ZV-1, but if I was using a top-down shot with the iPhone 12, I typically would use this, plug it in, clip it onto my shirt, and I would just go with the flow like that. And I think that it does hold up in quality as far as audio was concerned while using it with the iPhone. I don't think that you need to be using this device, you know, in a far like distance, so like if you were outside, and you were recording with this, I don't think that, I think the range would be a, a little bit of an issue, but I don't see anybody really using this as far as uh, being further, further, like real far away from their device. All in all, it's a cool device. I like the concept. I think the concept of this device is cool. There's a lot of other ones out there on the market as well. So don't get confused when you see like Lee Real and then you see some other brands, they all do the exact same thing. Like I said, the apps that it does work with is the native app and it works with any other app, at least the two other apps that I use is Filmic Pro and Pro Movie, so it works with those as well as the native camera app. So all in all, hopefully this video has been helpful to you in some way. I know I didn't go too far in depth because I feel like on the original video, I went real in depth, but I just wanted to give you guys a small follow-up to let you know that I still do use this uh, when, I'm, when I'm doing top-down shots and stuff like that. So it does make it in the rotation when it comes down to you know different audio quality sources that I'm using as far as microphones is concerned, all right? So with that, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right? Peace.